What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the Dread Pirate Doctor Disaster, and this is the launch day for Unknown 9 Awakening, the newest game that was worked on by Sweet Baby Inc. And to say that this thing doesn't appear to be selling well is an understatement. My connections in the retail industry were apparently onto something yet again when they told me that nobody was pre-ordering this game because it may have already peaked at a concurrent player count of 169 players on Steam. That's f***ing not good. On the one hand, at least Unknown 9 can hang their hats onto the fact that they have doubled the max concurrent player count of Dustborn. But, on the other hand, 169 is such an unbelievably low number of players for a AAA game that I'm currently a bit overwhelmed by the sudden rush of schadenfreude washing over me. <laughs> Keep in mind, the geniuses at Bandai Namco bought Reflector Entertainment specifically for this game. They have egg on their face in a big way, and there's really no escaping the consequences of their own actions. One, two, three. We may be trapped. Alright me hearties, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. A lot of you have been subscribing lately, so it is time to ask the following question. How many assholes we got on this ship anyhow? Yo! We now have 74,000 space pirate a-holes traversing the stars in our buccaneer crew. and. As is customary on the channel, with every thousand subscribers, we add a new ship to the fleet in order to house the newcomers. This time, one of you recommended the Discovery 1 from 2001 A Space Odyssey, which you can see flying around here. If you have any suggestions for future ships, drop them into the comment section and I will add them to my long list. Super Chats get bumped to the top of the list with the other Super Chats, but in any event, thanks for being here, folks. I knew it. I'm surrounded by assholes. Anyhow, it was pretty much always a given that Unknown 9 Awakening was going to be a flop. The question has always simply been, how bad was it going to flop? But for some reason, the big brains over at Bandai Namco couldn't see what a bad idea this was. Back in 2020, when Bandai bought Reflector, the world was a very different place. That was when wokeness was at its height. It was at the height of its powers, but the world has been clearly shifting away from this very stupid mentality. You see, as I'm sure most of you know, games take a good long while to develop. Three, four, maybe even five years to put together. So the games that we are seeing in 2024 were probably originally pitched back in 2020, which means it will take a few more years for these studios to course correct away from the crap that isn't selling well right now. In 2028 or so, we might have some good games to look forward to, but in the meantime, these studios have no choice but to release what they've been working on for the past few years and watch them fail. Think about how absolutely horrifying this must be for the executives who made the call to buy Reflector Entertainment, which currently they don't have any other announced projects that they're working on. Bandai bought them specifically for Unknown 9, and now they have to watch in horror as nobody plays this turd. 
At the time of this recording, the peak concurrent player count has hit 169. It is possible that they will exceed that number over this weekend. At such a low number, I wouldn't be surprised. But what may be even more damning is this right here. The game currently has a mostly negative rating on Steam. Now, it's possible that this is only because it's getting crap from content creators like myself, the sort of people who would leave scathing reviews because that's what we were predisposed to think of the game just at the outset. But that isn't exactly a sterling defense. I mean, there are only 32 negative reviews right now, and that is enough to torpedo the rating of this game. What does it say about this game that they can't muster enough people to even beat that? Well, it tells us plenty about this game and about the industry at large. Unknown Nine Awakening is just another in a long line of titles that were made for the modern audience, those sophisticated, progressive, high society people who will love the woke messaging. Bandai was so confident this game would sell well that they were reportedly in the process of putting together a series of Unknown Nine novels, more comic books, a TV show, and they were reportedly even hopeful for a movie. But the modern audience does not exist, at least not in the way that they think it does. I've heard estimates that somewhere around 15% of the population is actually woke, and clearly those people do not play video games because there's nothing preventing them from buying this. There's nothing preventing them from buying any of the other Sweet Baby games either, but these games keep failing because these modern audience types do not play this slop. The best that the modern audience can muster is when they latch on to an actually popular IP, like Dragon Age for example, and they cross their fingers that enough normies will actually want to play the game. That is why they often take control of established franchises and inject their crap into it. So, I will say the same thing about Unknown Nine Awakening that I said about Concord and Dustborn and Flintlock the Siege of Dawn, at least these dingleberries tried something new. I will give them at least a little bit of respect for that. At least they didn't subvert something that we love. But it's why we see so many remakes and sequels and prequels and all that sort of thing. They know that modern crap gets rejected. So, I can see the industry going one of two ways moving forward. These studios will definitely react to the way that 2024 has gone down. They will either start pumping out stuff that gamers actually like, or they will push even harder into hollowing out existing franchises and hoping to hide their wokeness behind IPs like Star Wars or Suicide Squad. I think the successful ones will put out things that we actually like, and the not so successful ones will try to hide their woke shit. But I'm gonna leave it there. Drop your mockery of Unknown 9 into the comment section down below, and we will talk there. Thanks for watching me hearties, if you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.